Welcome to the Blue and Green channel. In this video, I will show you how to create a hill shape map from the digital elevation model. In order to take this exercise, I presume you have digital elevation model of your interest area. If you don't have dim data for your interest area, I have made a separate video on how to download the digital elevation model from the USGS Earth Explorer. The link will be attached in the description of the video. Or you can see in the upper right corner a card showing that specific video. In order to take this exercise, first of all, you need to bring the digital elevation model on the GIS interface. For better visualization, I will change the color of my digital elevation model. To do that, I have to either double click or right click and go to the properties. And here I will click on this ribbon in order to have access to more color ramps. Here I will go to the create new color ramp and then I will select the catalog CPT-CT and I will press OK. For this particular catchment, I will go to the QGIS and I will select the red, white, blue and I will invert the color ramp. So here you can see the blue areas representing the lower elevation in this predefined area and the red area representing the higher elevation. By clicking on this button you can see the maximum and the minimum elevation of this particular area. In order to create a hill shape map, I would need to duplicate this digital elevation model. To do that, I will click right click and create a duplicate layer. And now I will play with the duplicate layer in order to create the hill shape map. So I will double click on this duplicate file and the render type will be hell shade. The altitude is 45 degree which is fine and the azimuth angle will also be 45. The Z factor Z1 is fine and the blending mode will be changed to the multiply. And I will click on apply and OK. Although we have edited the duplicate file but you don't see any changes because it is unchecked and also it should be upper than the original file. As we drag this duplicate file to the top position you will see the difference. So here you can see the hill shared effect in the map. So in this way you will create a hill shade map for your interest area. For the printing purposes, let's go to the project and new print layout and press on OK. So first of all you will add the map. For better visualization, we will zoom in the map by clicking on the move item content button. So I will press control and then zoom in. As you might know, you need to add the legends, north arrow and other basic information that are required with a map but I will just print this as an image. So I will click on a hill shade, save, yes. And for better resolution, 
let's select this 1000 dpi it will definitely take some time in order to export the map once the map is exported here you will see a right click signs so by clicking on this link you will be directed to the map So this way you will create a hill shade map for your interest area by only utilizing your digital elevation model. If you are interested to learn more about the GIS and remote sensing application, then please join us by subscribing to our channel. Please share this video with the professional because sharing is caring.